there, my name is Adam Paz, and I'm an Integration Specialist Solution Engineer out of the Santa Monica Hub as part of Oracle's team. And today I'm going to be talking to you about how to do DevOps automation using one of our tools called Developer Cloud Service, specifically for Oracle's Integration Cloud. Within Oracle's Integration Cloud, there's kind of three applications within it. There's Process VBCS, Visual Builder application, and Integration. So today I'm specifically going to be focusing on Integration. Uh, in the future, I will be doing one for Process Automation and Visual Builder Cloud Service. Um, so for this, I'm kind of assuming that we have three different environments. Um, so we have a development environment, a test environment, and a production environment of Oracle Integration Cloud. So um, without further ado, we're going to hop right in. So over here is my Integration Cloud. So um, this is my development um, environment and over here is my production environment so before we hop in I kind of wanted to get one kind of um, you know one one thing across before we hop into it so within the integrations there's actually kind of three sub pieces we need to know about for this continuous integration and continuous development pipeline so uh, yes there's integrations but there's actually something called packages which allows you to store multiple integrations within it so you can kind of be working on some type of project, put them all into the same package, and then we can, you know, export and import all those integrations and all those connections that integrations are using uh, by just the name of that package. So connections are um, what we actually use to connect to our different SaaS applications, databases, on-prem applications, and integrations are the orchestrations themselves that connect from maybe a REST API into an autonomous database, for example. So what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you how I have two different builds. So one that exports packages um, as a whole and all the integrations within them, and one that looks at a configuration file to decide which integrations and which connections to be pulling. Um, so instead of doing a full reset with that package um, exportation, we can kind of do more granular. You know, I was working on this integration today. We need to export it. So um, really allows you to have you know full flexibility there. So yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and let's hop into my developer cloud service environment. So um, this is my DevCS, and today I'm going to be walking you through parts of it, but understand this is not a full uh, walkthrough of developer cloud service. It's a really robust, um, you know, platform, and, you know, I'm only hitting, I'm only scratching the surface with this just to kind of get that integration piece across. But pretty incredible service that we have. Um, and it comes free. I mean, you have to have it on a compute instance, so the compute takes up a little bit of uh, running power, but it doesn't run, it's not running all the time, right? You only It only runs whenever you do that first build of the day, or you can have it on a schedule as well. So we're going to be hopping into um, kind of just the idea here is, you know, you can have teams and you can have multiple repositories. Um, so that's to store your code. Uh, in this case, we're actually using a repository to store our integrations you know everything at the end of the day is just code right so we're storing those integrations as files so here we can see you know our feature one branch doesn't have anything in it just a config folder and a readme but if we go to our feature two branch we can actually see that I have a package already within here so um, that's exactly what I'm going to be doing I'm going to be pulling a package from my developer uh, environment putting it onto my feature one branch here and then from my feature one branch, I'm going to be pushing it uh, onto my production environment. Obviously, this is not best practice. What we'd really be doing is, you know, pushing it to our dev branch, and then from our dev branch, kind of pushing that into our master, making sure everything's good, and then putting it onto production. But just for demo purposes, we're going to be kind of going the simple route. So um, I'm going to take you into my builds now. So here we have four different builds to be looking at. We have our export integration and export package. It's kind of what I was talking about before. Uh, you know, export integration is that more granular one. Export package is the, you know, the full pull, the full reset. And then we have import integration and import package to kind of be following uh, each of those two respectively. So within our config files here in our repository, we actually have a little bit of something to look at here. So we have our development, production, and test environment uh, config files. So when I'm pulling from or pushing to the um, dev environment, and I'll show you how to do that in just a second, we actually have here, you know, the base URL for it, so it knows exactly where to point in order to push and pull information into it. 
And then you can actually see here there's kind of a section for target and a tar section for source. And what this is for is for that more granular pulls for that um, export and import integrations. So whenever you are working on something, you come in here, you edit it, and you um, can make a list of different integrations you've been working on or a you know, list of different connectors that you're using. Uh, so it's really that simple. Uh, it's able to look in here, you know, it's able to take this term update connections and it's able to put that into our scripting. Um, so now to get into the build in a little more depth. So I'm going to start with this export integration. I'm going to kind of use this as my example because it's kind of complicated but gets the point across. So within this build we actually have the ability to, um, you know, to choose our different branches. We are able to have other parameters that we have here. So uh, whenever I hit this build button, it'll actually pop up this with like a uh, password and username and it'll have a kind of a choice parameter whether I want to be, you know, exporting from development, testing, or production. And then within our steps here, this is where the magic really happens. So what I do is I actually use a Unix shell um, in order to use APIs for the integration cloud. I use curl commands, right? So what I'm doing is I'm doing a mixture of looking through my config file and using API calls to, you know, export integrations and all of the data that is within them. Um, and after that, I just go ahead and I push it to the Git repository I'm using. Um, so uh, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be looking at this export package. And I've set it up so that the Git uh, parameter that we're using, so we're using this repository, and we're going to be pulling to the feature one branch as I showed you earlier. It is right now empty. So. What I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to be doing this build now. And we can see some of those parameters pop up with username and password. Um, you know, this is the package I want to be pulling, and I want to be pulling it from development. Here it says OIC source environment, right? So um, I should hit this build now. And in just a second, after this executor finishes, uh, we will see that within my repository that we have the DevOps test package. All right, here we go. It says it was complete. And here we go, DevOps test package in our feature one branch. So um, from there, you can do some merge requests, you know, to push it into dev and whatnot, but we're all gonna, we're gonna skip that all for today, just to kind of get the point across. And then we're gonna do our import package build. And I can just run it from here for this, this play button. And it works kind of the same way. So it was called DevOps. Better check the caps on that real quick. So DevOps test, okay. So import package, build now. It is called DevOps test. We're gonna be pushing it into production. Uh, before we hop in, I'm actually gonna show you that um, my production environment does not have the um, package in it right now. So if we go to packages, we can see that these are the only packages that exist, no DevOps test, right? So now we'll come back in here, and I'm just going to be putting in my password and username. And hit build now, and hopefully I type those correctly. All right, and here we are. We can see it's done. Uh, let's go ahead into my production environment. Hit this refresh here. Let me do a full refresh of the page here. Oh, here it is, DevOps test. So uh, we can see that all the integrations that were within it, DevOps test one, two, three, four, um, well, DevOps test one, two, three actually, are all active and working. DevOps S4 was throwing an error, so it did not. Um, so you can see that we were able to move these three integrations from our development environment into our production environment, uh, just using the name of our package. Um, and we can also do the same thing with the integrations and be getting a little more granular, but I can show that another time. Uh, hope that was helpful and all made sense. Thank you very much for your time.